Okay, so now we're going to, going to make it so we can click on these X buttons and delete these items. We had a similar video a while back, but we didn't. We weren't targeting the X buttons. We were just making it so we clicked anywhere on the LI and they delete. So we want to target the X. We also want to be able to clear them all. Now, as far as these initial items, if you want, you can just either delete or comment them out because obviously we're not going to have those at the end of this. We just want to have it blank when we start up and then whatever we add is whatever we add. But for now, I'm just going to keep them there. So to remove these, remember, we have multiple elements that we want to be able to click and delete. So we're going to use event delegation here where we put the actual event on the item list, which is the UL. Okay, and then we want to target whatever we click inside to actually do the delete. So let's create another event listener and this time it's going to be on the list. So item list, which we brought in, that's the unordered list and the event type is going to be a click event and then let's have it call a function called remove item. Okay, and we'll create that right here. Let's say function remove item and we're going to pass in our event object. Now we need to target. We need to make it so we click on the X but the list item deletes, right? If I were to say e, let's just do a console log of e dot target, right? So that's going to fire off whether I hit anything, no matter what it is in the UL. If I go outside of the list item, let's go ahead and open the console. That'll help. If I click outside of it, you'll see UL. If I click right here, you'll see the LI. If I click on that, you'll see the icon, the I tag. And that is basically we want to be able to click this, but delete the LI. So we can't simply do E dot target dot remove, right? If I do that, what it's going to do is delete the button, okay? Because it's deleting the target. It's deleting what I'm clicking on. So we need to kind of navigate to the list item and delete that. So there's uh, a property, remember, that we talked about called parent element. You could also use parent node. So if I console log that, once I click this icon, you'll see we get button. Okay, because button is the parent to the icon that was clicked. Now, I don't want this to run when we click on this or that or the UL. So this is where we have to use event delegation and we have to target that specific um, that specific button. OK, so we can get the classes on that button with class list. So if we say class list. And I click on this, we get all the different classes and remove item is one of them. So what I want to do is check to make sure that what we click on has that class list or the parent, I should say, of what we click on has that class. Uh, I'm sorry, class name. So we can do this by putting an if statement here. So let's change this to an if get rid of that. And then we'll move this in here. OK, and to test to see if that remove item class is there, we can use the contains method. So I can say if it contains and then we can pass in here the, the class we're looking for, which is remove item. OK, because we only want this to fire off if we're clicking on the icon whose parent is a button with the class of remove item. So let's instead of doing this e target remove, let's console log and just say click. All right. So now you'll see if I click anywhere in here in the LI or outside of it in the UL, nothing happens. But if I click on the icon, then we get a click. OK, so we're targeting the right thing here. Now we just want to make sure we remove the right thing because we don't want to remove the button. We want to remove the entire list item. So what we'll do is again, we'll take E dot target, which is going to be the icon, and then we'll take the parent element, which is going to be the button, and then we'll go another parent element, which is going to be the list item, and then we're going to remove that. OK, so we're just kind of we're just traversing the DOM to get to where we want and then removing it. So now if I come here and I click, you see the whole Apple's list item goes away. Click here, click here, and it doesn't work if I click anywhere else. I have to click on the X button because that's what we targeted with this event delegation. 
All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, to, um, to clear the items, we're going to have another event. So let's copy that down. And uh, this time it's going to be on. Do we? No, we didn't. We didn't bring in the clear button. So let's do that. Let's say const, and we'll say item clear. Set that to document. Uh, document dot. We'll use get element by ID just to stay consistent. And that has an ID of item clear. At least I believe it does. Let's double check that. Uh, no, it's just clear. So yeah, just ID of clear. All right, so now we have the the clear button. Um, actually, you know what? Let's call that clear button. Whenever I use buttons, I like to just I like to name it like that. So I mean, it doesn't really matter. But and then what we'll do is say on clear button, we want to add an event listener, and that's going to be a click. And then we're going to call a function called clear items or clear items because it's all of them. All right. And then let's go back up here and create that function. So function clear items. <clears throat> and let's see for now, let's just do a, a console log just to make sure that this works. So if I click that, OK, that's working. And as I showed you in a previous video, there's a few things we can do. We could take the item list and set the inner HTML to nothing. So if I click clear, that clears them all. Um, but a better and faster way of doing it, not that you'll notice in this case, but uh, we could also do this. We could say while and then take the item list and say first child. So while the item list, the UL has a first child, which is going to be the first list item, then we want to remove that by taking the item list and we'll use the remove child because we're using it on the item list, which is the UL and then pass in the first child. So item list dot first child. All right. So if we do that, come down here and click clear all, then they all go away. Now, one thing I want to do in the next video is I want to make this a little more dynamic to where if we don't have any list items, then I don't want to show the filter items or the clear all right because it doesn't really make much sense. Plus, it just it's something else for us to do to make this a little more dynamic. So we're going to do that in the next video.